Hi, my name is Seth Alvo and I've been working in the field of car audio and mobile electronics for over eight years. I've installed everything from navigation systems to full car stereo systems, remote starters, alarms, and beyond. To learn more, visit our website at www.movingon.com. No matter what electronic device you're installing in your car, you're going to need a ground. Now, a ground is the negative electrical connection that powers up the unit and it's almost always gonna end up at the chassis of the car. Now, the best place to ground is wherever is closest to the actual frame of the car. Not a piece of metal spanning between two pieces of the frame, the actual frame. And seat belt bolts are a perfect place for this. If you're grounding an amplifier, which is a perfect example, if you can back out the seat belt bolt and get the wire underneath there and crank it back down, you're gonna have pretty much a perfect ground. Now, if you can't use a seat belt bolt, what you're gonna wanna do is find some place that's on the frame, maybe even close to the seat belt bolt, grind away the paint, and then use a star washer and a bolt of equal gauge to the wire that you're grounding. Crank it down, test it for resistance, and you're good to go. You should get as close to zero ohms as possible on your ohm meter. If you're installing a small electronic device at the front of the car, like a satellite radio for instance, you may want to check for an existing ground, a factory ground. The cigarette lighter is a perfect place to start. If you go to the back of the cigarette lighter, there should be a power connector, and there's gonna be a ground wire and a power wire. If you ground to that wire, you're probably gonna be okay. If you go into the left kick panel of the car, you may even find a bundle of ground wires that are bolted directly to the chassis. If you use that same ground, you're good to go.